Idiot. I'm gonna make you go with the fella. What Ow. kind of man are you? Judy! Backstabbing little... You're wasting my time. That there's a bounty hunter. Get him! Elian, I... Kill that bounty hunter! <laughs> oh, Lord, forgive me for this. Well, what you got me into, Elian? Uh, All you uh, men are useless. Uh, Turn yourself in, Miss. This is uh, very kind of you. God, I swear, Mister, I, I had nothing to do with this. I'm just caught up in it. You know, she's Trixie. I'm sorry, Ellie Ann. You just go, go with him. You take care now. Now I'm just gonna check your pockets. <laughs> You manhandle me. Goodbye, my <gasps> <sighs> ah! 
Come on now, boy. Settle in. You got a ride ahead of you. Came over me. Set. Be quiet with that. I need help, okay? I, I have an illness. This the help you're looking for? strong man like you I wouldn't be in this mess my men folk they all been weak that's what my problem's been how I got in this unfortunate situation but a big strong man like you you set me straight wouldn't you mister put me on the straight and narrow Coming up on the jailhouse. Anything else you want to try on me? Just get me there. You're no fun at all. I'm afraid I ain't. This, uh, I got nothing to do with this. I met her new sweetheart up by the falls. 
Feller was lucky not to end up like her husband. If he was any kind of man, I wouldn't be here. Men just got a habit of dying around you, don't they, Mrs. Swan? I hope you'll be comfortable, miss. She'll be fine. Now come get your money off the desk here. The Black Widow herself. This town's so starved of women, I'm sure she could find herself a husband yet. Now that's cowboys for you. Morning.
okay, boy? Win homes. I didn't expect to run into no one out here. Hmm. Funny how far a man's debts will follow him. You got some money for me, boy? I seen your name in our ledger. You're with the German? Look, I, I got it for you. It's just, I don't got it yet. It it's up in them hills. Hmm. You panning for it? Hunting it. I tracked this cougar. It's rare. Lily white coat, the pelt to more and cover what I owe. If I'm skinning anything, I'm skinning you, boy. No, please, I'm out of work. It's the only way you'll get paid, and, and all the hard work's already done. Fine. Move. We'll, um, uh, need our horses. It's, um... Quite a trip. Yeah, yeah. All right, drive, boy. Let's get where we're going. Drive. Okay, follow me. Drive. I'm driving. Make me come out here, make me chase all over this goddamn mountain. Hey, you knew it was a risk. I didn't know nothing. Your name is all I knew. Well, the German speaking fella then, Mr. Strauss. He knew my work situation was precarious, that this whole thing was a, a risky venture. Wait, risky? I'm mean, I at risk now? Are you threatening me, Winton Holmes? I ain't. No, certainly not. Sir, I'm, I'm merely stating a man without a job, with limited prospects, at those rates, repayment was by no means guaranteed. I said I'd do my best, and I did. You're continuing to annoy me. We're going right here, up the stream.
Hey, how about this then? I guarantee we pay me. Because I'm gonna get that money out of you. If I gotta squeeze you like a lemon, it's coming out. Yeah, of course. We're onto it now, okay? We're onto it now. The cash is in that cougar, mister. Sure as pumpkins ain't cauliflowers, the cash is in that cougar. <sighs> it better be. Or I'll turn you into a goddamn cauliflower. Up here. We ain't too far now. What I know about cats, this one's rare as hen's teeth. I mean, you ever seen an alabaster wildcat? The big thing about cougars is they see you, not the other way around. That may be, but you'd see this one. I've been hunting with my pa. Shot all kinds of cats. Never one like this. In another life, I'd have sought my fortune outdoors. Not in the hot, stinking belly of a tar pit. I ain't interested in your regrets or your life story, Mr. Holmes. Just your damn money. Drive. This is it. Her den. We should leave the horses. Show me. You'll see her soon. Quiet now. Won't be able to miss her shining in the dark. You hear that? There's a cougar in here. And I bet she's white as virgin cotton. The tunnel diverges up here. I'll take the left, you go right, and we'll see if we don't converge down a ways. And look out for her. Yeah, yeah.
course, your man ain't coming. Hey, boy. Move it. What you looking for? A paper? I'll take a paper, please. Thanks. Have a great day. Hello there, sir. You got a problem with me? Right here, folks. Paper. Hello. Hello. You look hungry. What is he makes my crotch rock flare like hell? Thanks, partner. Sounds good.
Move out the dang way! Pleasure doing While business. While he talked about the next one, all he said was he can work better than he was so damn lazy. You trying to make me uncomfortable? Welcome to Strawberry! Welcome! Howdy, partner. Welcome to our fair city! Hey, mister. Mister? Hello, mister. Hey there. You Hector? That's me. Alden tells me you're a discouraged man. Ah, you must be a friend of that Josiah Trelawney. All right, in that case, I've got something here you might want to take a look at. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right, suit yourself. There's a stage heading up from Blackwater. Now, I hear it'll be heavily guarded, so you might want to try a more covert approach. Or lay down some explosives. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> You're the expert. Thank you, Hector. Appreciate it. You enjoy the rest of your day. All right. Suit yourself.
You ain't a tourist, so I'm guessing you're a bounty hunter. Posters usually go up on that wall there. Word is he's made a whole out of an old mine up in the Big Valley Mountains. But you might Mr. want to leave that one on the wall. Josh Brown'd be a hard man to kill, let alone capture. And that's what we're asking for. Got half the bounty hunters in the state out looking for him. I want your advice. I'll ask for it, okay? Okay. Joshua Brown. Give it to me. He's a killer. Got away with it for the most part, too. Legal kills. But if you walk that line, you're gonna step over it at some point, and that what he done. If this man's dangerous, why I gotta bring him in alive? He brought us some bounties in the past, and he's always been decent. If you don't want to bring him in breathing, you leave this alone. Well, I figure I know what I gotta do. Happy hunting. Welcome back. Criminy. I'll just take care of that record for you directly. Take care. Yeah. Line up, strawberry. a philosophical point, and it's quite an important one. Blessed are the Widowmakers. Where are you headed, Mr. Would you be interested in some friendly competition? I've come all the way north from Mexico to challenge a real American gunslinger. You him? Me? A real gunslinger? <laughs> Let's find out. Okay, man. That's what I like to hear. Look, man, rules are simple, okay? Whoever shoots more of these bottles wins. The range needs to be clear before we begin, amigo. Should we get this going or what? Just draw your gun and aim when you're ready, all right? <laughs> Oh, that didn't make me happy at all. 
How about we raise the stakes, huh? Ah, I'm all right. Well, I owe you for beating me. So, come get your win. Ah, uh, here it is, okay? Man of my word. Appreciate it. Sure. <sighs> Better watch out next time. You'll see. Time to go, boy. There we go. Dead in. <laughs> you got nowhere to go, bounty hunter. I ain't here to kill you. <laughs> Wouldn't matter if you were. There's only one way out of here, and that's through me. Come easy. I'll say something to the law. <laughs> it ain't gonna be easy. You're gonna have to draw on me to get me out. You might have found me. But you won't beat me, bounty hunter. Let's go. Okay, fella. You shot me. You didn't even have a decency to do it right. You duel a man and you ought to put him down. A man with a bullet in him, you talk a lot. You got no decency, bounty hunter.
wouldn't have got me in my younger days. I would have put... Take it nap, old man. You killed me back there. A real man would have killed me. I kind of regret not killing you. <laughs> this could get bumpy. Boy, I don't deserve this. I deserve to go out with some damn honor. I live by the gun, let me die by it, damn it. That's what, what I deserve, you damn sneak. You damn gut shooter. You make me sick. You got no pride. Just coyotes fighting over someone else's kid. That's Big Josh, all right. Hey, he looks heavy. Somewhere. Can we take that bounty oh, off of you? Like I can manage him fine. I'm all yours. I did quit on the draw. I hear the cells here are really comfortable. Come on now. You trying to be winsome, bounty hunter? Always. I'm a regular charmer. Now come on. <laughs> Got Brown here. Ah, Mr. Brown. Come on now. Make him comfortable downstairs. Forget about me. Now, leave me to my peace. You hear? I want peace. Pay's right here. He make you work for it? He dueled me, so I'd say that's a yes. <laughs> Lucky you're still here. Lucky. Thanks. Hey, uh, no more posters going up here for a while. Mayor don't like the way it looks. We are a poor town, after all.
What I hear, you didn't move fast enough last time. I got another one here if you're interested. Here. There's a stage heading up from Blackwater. Now, I hear it'll be heavily guarded, so you might want to try a more covert approach. Or lay down some explosives. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Expert. Thank you, Hector. Appreciate it. You enjoy the rest of your day. All right. Suit your turn. Yep. Hey there, boy. Hello again. Liberty is worth every penny. Farewell on your travels.
That's one nice looking horse you got there. How about we see how fast it is? First one of Catfish Jackson's. Hold on a minute. Hear me out. How you doing? So what do you say? Nothing. Well, what'll it be then? Not now, thanks. Alright. Suit yourself. Yeah. Coming in. Welcome back. Good work, pal. You play a good guard. And you make a pretty good oil man. I'm telling you, Dutch, this is the way to do this job. Jim? Look, the bank. Karen, Tilly, Abigail, I sent them all. They all say the same thing. There's no more than one armed guard. And the police? It's a city. There are police. But as far as we can tell, the patrols will all be going this way when Abigail and I cause the diversion. That's the opportunity. What do you think, Arthur? I don't see we have a lot of choice. We linger around here, we know we're dead. But the plan? We got a decent bunch. We know how to fight. The city cops don't seem so tough as long as we move fast. I reckon doing it in the day with a distraction. If that's what Jose is saying, it's as good a plan as any. I, th I think I agree. Can we do it at night? There's the drama of just getting into the bank. Can't do that silently. They'll pick us off far easier. I know. I'm, I'm just making sure. Every plan is a good plan if we execute it properly. Every problem we had was because we did not execute properly. Even Blackwater, from my understanding. You're right. Let's rob this bastard. Everyone, get ready. Look smart. Travel light. You got everything, Arthur? Sure. So, we rob ourselves a bank, and within... Six weeks, we're living life anew in a tropical idol, spending the last of our days as banana farmers. Let's get out of this godforsaken place and go rob ourselves a bank! <laughs> Come on, Hosea, get moving. We ain't got all day. This is it, gentlemen, the last one. Where have we heard that before? What has happened to you, John? You lost all your heart. I'm just trying to stay real about all this. Real? Oh, how I detest that word. So devoid of imagination. How soon are we shipping out? Soon as we get a passage organized. Boat down to Argentina, then another around the Cape. 
What about the money in Blackwater? We're just gonna leave that behind? Forget that. It's gone. You all talk like it's the only goddamn money in the world. We're gonna take that and more. Take it from the people who take it from us. This isn't some hick town hundred dollar operation. This is a big city bank. Right. With security, guards, police. Hosea has done his reconnaissance. We've been over this. The plan. One last time. Hosea and Abigail draw out the police. We go in calm and fast. John and Lenny secure the front doors. Javier takes the side exit. Phil, Micah, and Charles control the crowd. Me and Arthur deal with the bank manager and vault. Got it? Got it. Yeah. Got it. Gentlemen, let us go ahead. How long do you need? Not long. Fifteen minutes or less. You'll know by the noise. Any problems? We'll see you in camp. Good luck, gentlemen. Right on! Yeah! Everybody know the drill. We head in hard, stay calm. They won't be expecting us. Any minor trouble, head back to camp. We'll leave in a few days. You good, Bill? Sure. Then right on with Charles. We don't want to be seen heading in like some posse of country outlaws. This is it, cowboys! One more time! Well, one more time. Let's ride! Yeah! yeah. Hitch up here. Gentlemen, robbing thieves, it ain't no crime at all. Folk like this, they stole what this country could have been. Stay cool, fellas. Act natural. Wait for Hosea to do his thing. This, this had better work. Looks like there's law over the other side. Have a modicum of faith, John, will you please? Soon as we get out, load everything onto the wagon here. <laughs> I love that Hosea! He is a true artist. Make this quick. Come on. For these 
safe. Tell us the combination. Come on, speak. Speak or die. Now. First number. Nineteen. Nineteen! should have gone after Bronte, Dutch. Mr. Milton? <clears throat> Let my friend go! Or folks, they are gonna get shot unnecessarily! Your friend? <laughs> Why would I do that? Come on, Milton! It's over! No more bargains, no more deals. Mr. Milton, this is America! You can always cut a deal! I've given you enough chances. Come on!
Arrested. I couldn't help. Well, we better go. We'll be next. <sighs> what you think? I reckon me and Lenny try and find a way across the roof. See if you'll cover us. Sure, sure. Go on! Just like your fairy job in Blackwater. Ain't nothing like that. <clears throat> what now? I don't know. I don't. <sighs> this whole town is filled with cops. Well, how long are we gonna stay here? Well, a few hours? We go back to camp? They're gonna get every last one of us. I know they're gonna be watching the roads. I got it. A boat. What you mean? We stay here till nightfall. Then we sneak on down to the docks. We get ourselves out of here. Yeah, where? Any place will do. That's all I got. We leave. We lie low. We come back for the rest in a few weeks. I'm guessing it's that. We die out there right now. Exactly. Now, everybody, calm down. I mean, oh, look at us. Okay, follow me, and keep your heads down. Head for the docks. I hear voices. 
voices. Take your turns. Everyone stay now. The rats will have to come out of their holes eventually. We should have had them in Blackwater. But that won't happen again. They'll have got men on every street. Looks like they've stopped. We'll go through the train, Arthur. Come on. Rest of you. Follow when it's clear. Someone's coming. Duck. I don't see why we have to check the train. They just robbed Lemoyne National Bank. It's not like they're gonna take the first line out of town. What old Milton said. Milton said a lot. Come on, I won't be out here all night. Fellas, Arthur, head over to the water. See if you can draw them out. Draw them out? How? I don't know. Make a noise. Whistle or something. See them? Sure. What you think? I don't know. They're watching for us. Maybe. Maybe not. Well, they ain't just waiting there for no reason. Yeah. Let me think for a second. I'll deal with them. What? How? I can't kill all of them silently. So, when they chase me, you go the other way. What are you talking about? You heard what I said. Yeah, real brave. What in the hell? Who is... Excuse me! Buddy! Hey, stop! Stop, stop! That is one of the most Come beautiful acts me, I ever saw. Come on. We got some gold, I'm sure. 
This boat ain't going to Tahiti by any chance. I don't know. John. Lenny. Jose. That wasn't good. I know. So what are we gonna do now? <coughs> Guess I'm gonna introduce myself to the captain. Give him some of this gold to secure his silence. And find out where we're heading. How do I look? Like a shifty, no good killer on the run from the law. Ain't that the truth? <coughs> Excuse me, sir. Hey, who are you? Forgive me. A stowaway. Can I see the captain, please? I come in peace. Well, it's gonna take a little more gold, but I think we're gonna be okay. This captain, he is a, a fine fella. A New Englander from the Cape. The rest of the ship is Frenchmen. They're heading down to the islands, taking some Pennsylvania coal. Now, apparently, we're gonna be able to slip ashore in northern Cuba in a couple of days. That's so. Apparently. What are we gonna do in Cuba, Dutch? Hold up for a while, then hurry back, gather up the rest of our family. At least we got some money now. Money and loyalty. With that, you can do whatever you please. So you reckon they'll follow us to Cuba? Like Colonel Waxman on a jolly? I highly doubt it. I reckon we hold ourselves to ourselves, and this is done and dusted. Let's hope so. I ain't no sailor, but, uh... <clears throat> that cloud look like good news to you?
Good. Good. Boy. You're alive. Arthur. Oh, boy, that's it. You're a... You're alive. <laughs> Arthur. Arthur. Okay. It is a miracle. It is a goddamn miracle. Here, have, have something to drink. Have a drink. Somebody Here. give him a goddamn drink. Oh, son. Son, take it easy. Oh, we got you. We got you. Where are we? We are on the island of Guarm. Javier asked a local. It's a old sugar plantation island. Second island east of Cuba. Is it anywhere near Australia or Tahiti? It's on the way, I guess. So, what next? I don't know. <laughs> well, next I guess we're gonna get shot. Encadenen a estos hombres! Gentlemen, this is quite a welcome. Who are you? Senor, por favor. We are no one. What's your name? Aiden O'Malley. Is that so? What are you doing, Mr. O'Malley? Surviving. We were lost at sea in the storm. Is that so? No. I'm in the habit of looking like this. Is all of this really necessary? We got enough troubles around here right now, Mr. O'Malley, without taking a chance on a bunch of vagabonds. Behave yourselves and no harm will befall you. Vamos! 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 Muevanse! Let's go! We got another group rounded up down the way. I don't get your drift, Mr. Uh... Levi Simon, senior overseer for Alberto Fusar. We run the third most productive sugar plantation in the Northern Caribbean. Of course, where there's money to be made, there's trouble. What sort of trouble? Oh, the usual sort. People wanting what ain't theirs and others telling them to take it. I don't get you. Labor troubles. And other thieves and pirates looking to disrupt our ways of working. How very upsetting for you. Not half as upsetting as it'll be for them. Mr. Fusar has a lot of very powerful friends. I will bet that he does. Bunch of Haitian pirates won't frighten him. They'll be strung up in the streets soon enough. And do we seem like Haitian pirates to you, Mr. Simon? You seem like someone or other. We was headed to Tahiti. You was going the scenic route. Just as soon as I know exactly who you are, you'll be free. In the meantime, you'll not starve. Cabo, llévese a estos hombres a la cárcel, junto con el grupo de cucarachas de ese campesino. Cualquier tontería que hagan, Disparales a todos. Welcome to Guama, gentlemen. Now, if you'll excuse me. Yeah! What now, Aiden? I don't know. What do you think? I think we've got to get out of here. Yeah, but they can't find out who we are. Well, for now, we're stuck, Ben. For what it's worth, I think I would have preferred Tahiti. You and me both. Who are these people? Who knows? Well, they got them chained and lashed, but they don't look too dangerous. Excuse me, sir. Who are our new friends here? <laughs> Criminales. What crime did they commit? Insurrection. <laughs> Insurrection? That's quite a word. Cállate, señor Fuentes. Muevanse. Todos.
Everyone okay? Uh, yeah. Uh. Damn. Reinforcements. Mon Dieu. We need to get out of here. Now we're in trouble. Come on, come on, David, everyone, follow me. Please, David, come, come, come. Ah. 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 Javier! Oh, get out of here. Get out of here. There's a lot of them. What do you think? We gotta move, Dad. Go. Don't lose face, son. We'll find you. Cool, cool. Go, go. What are you doing here? I have no idea. Running from somebody or something, I guess. How went we all? Hetul Fontaine. Dutch Vanderlyn. These drowned rats are Micah, Bill, and Arthur. Okay. Well, Fusa will be desperate to find you. We must be very careful. So. Who is this Fusor? A tyrant, driven by nothing but power and greed. Our only purpose is to work ourselves to death to make him rich. Leon wants the people to stand up to Fusa, but most are too afraid. And you? I am not from here. I bring things in and off the islands behind Colonel Fusa's back. Let's, uh, let's rest a moment. Down there is Aqua Dolce, Fusa's compound. The sugar cane these poor men killed themselves farming gets processed in that factory there. They're little more than slaves shipped in from other islands. A group escaped yesterday into the jungle, hoping to find a way back to their homes. Now Fusa's men are out, hunting them down. That old fort? Cinco Torres. My men and I use that as a hideout when we are here. Come on. I know somewhere you men can rest. Can we trust you? I don't see you have any choice. I am the only one who can arrange a boat for you. But I need something in return. Help Leon with that group of escape workers, and then come meet me at the fort. If you help us get back our friend and get out of here, we will do everything we can. Thank you. Gracias. If your friend is still alive, they will have him at Futa's compound. There is a cave hidden below the cliffs. It will lead you right there. Thank you. The workers are somewhere in the jungle. Hopefully we can get to them before Fusa does. Of course. Gentlemen. Well? Goodbye. If this is a tropical paradise, so far it ain't up to much. I'll go scope the entrance to that cave. Arthur. I need to get some rest. Well, you're right. We all need to relax. <clears throat> what a mess. I... 
I'm so sorry, boys. Get some sleep, Dutch. Micah, guard this spot. Bill, uh, do some more scouting carefully.